Hello there ladies and gentlemen and welcome to another video. Now in this one we're gonna be pimping out our TTY prompt. So if you're using Linux and you don't use like a login manager so you don't use like GDM you would have to run start x and so you'll be dropped into a TTY prompt and by default TTY prompt uh, looks kind of plain so with this script i'll show you guys how i can how you can make like a really fancy kind of tty login thing <laughs> so before we continue i'll just show you how it looks like and uh, since i can't show you on this uh computer i'll just uh, show you on the laptop so here's my laptop i'll just press the power button here all right so first thing it's gonna ask me is for uh looks password which I'll enter here and then after this you'll see the TTY prompt yeah and so you'll be presented with the TTY prompt here so in your, and as you can see I also hid the prompt where it says like login username and whatnot so I did that by setting a black background and so if I like type in my uh, username and password and there we go. So now I'm in my desktop, like so. So yeah, to get your own uh, fancy prompt when you use the TTY, you will you essentially need to customize this file here. So etc and then issue. As you can see here, it's a little bit messed up because I'm uh, zoomed in a lot. But if I minimize this and echo that again as you can see it looks like that it looks pretty cool and then these backslash if i zoom in here okay so this should be fine so these backslash s backslash r backslash m they are basically escape sequences for whatever processes the issue file i think it's a getty or something like that all right so i just googled uh, etc issue escape codes and then whatever the first one came up has it so just zoom in here so the s is like the system name the name of the os then i also did r which is the release number and then i did m which is so basically we have like uh 64 bit or 34 bit it'll show that and then after that it's users with a dash u and the dash u is basically the number of users that are logged in. And then L is, uh, oh yeah. So it'll show the, which TTY you're logged in since you, since you can have like seven or six TTY, it'll show you like which one you're in. And uh, T is the date, I'm pretty sure, yeah, so the current time and then D would be the date so yeah that's how that looks and uh, to get the colors we just escape use escape color codes so i'll show you the script now uh, the script by the way is on my github it's inside my personal scripts folder and if you go into the terminal helpers it's just uh, issue text and you will also probably want to download the bash colors as well since this uh, sources it so yeah, that's the url there if you want to type it in manually but i'll link this in the uh, description so anyway how this works is basically if you have the ish text you just run it ish text and it will generate the prompt and then to actually like set it as the etc what you want to do is just pipe the output of this into a temporary file and then with root copy this temporary file into etc issue now you could probably do something like this so instead of doing that you can do etc issue with a sudo and that'll probably work as well but um, I just kind of like having it here since you can preview 
the temporary file before sending it into etc or whatever so that's how you do it uh, if you look at the script here I actually grabbed like a bunch of random ASCII's and oh yeah by the way if you are sourcing the bash script or if you don't wanna source uh, the bash colors all you need to do is just go in just open up the bash colors then copy all of these paste them here and then it's literally the same thing as just sourcing it but since I use the bash kind of colors in a lot of my scripts I just source it from there <laughs> so yeah uh, there's a few kind of cool logos I found uh, you can uh, f you can just google like ASCII art or whatever and uh, make sure like all of these are spaces because if you have tabs as these um, it'll be a mess basically but what you can do is in sublime text you can do a tab and then highlight the tab go to uh, find replace and then replace it with say four four spaces so replace one tab with four spaces and then so that's how you would fix that because some of these ASCII arts they actually use tabs uh, but yeah like if you use tabs inside here this will look a little bit messed up so anyway these are all kind of so if you want to use these, just call the variable here. So this is the variable name, so that's CD and then logo or whatever. And then there's a few of them, so I'll kind of show you some of them. So the PS2 one's kind of nice looking. And uh, yeah, the store one actually doesn't work for some reason. <laughs> yeah, like it looks a little bit messed up in the ETC uh, issue. So anyway here are just kind of like a few functions which I formatted nicely so the floppy disk is run by default if you want to look at the door so just change that and then uh, you run issue text it'll look like this so you see here it's like nicely formatted with this um, let's see what else is here yeah the default is just the logo it looks like that and it's also like nicely formatted here and so ideally I would have like functions for each one of these but if I ch change this logo here to print the smiley face as you can see it looks pretty nice but I would need to like uh, extend these so that's why I have like different functions for uh, each well most of them anyway <laughs> So I'll kind of show you all the ones that I have. Uh, so yeah, that's the hit key one. Looks like this. Looks pretty nice. And then if you don't like this cyan color, you can change it to whatever you want. So let's change it to, uh, let's change it to light green. I think that would look pretty cool. Like so, save that. And then it'll be light green that's pretty cool uh, I'll show you some other ones here so the ps2 controller looks really cool so just change the hit key to ps2 and there you go looks pretty cool and um, see this one you already saw that's kind of the one that I use because it's like really cool it's like punching a floppy drive So yeah, that's how this one looks. It's like a computer exploding or whatever. And then uh, the hourglass is pretty cool as well, but it's quite long. So if you have, um, I don't know, a small display or whatever, it might get a little bit messed up. As you can see, it's barely like fitting in here even. <laughs> and let's see it now. The last one is the C disk. This looks pretty cool too. Like so. And so yeah, then you just pipe this into temp and then name some file, I don't know, tist or something. <laughs> and so we can do a cat on tmp tist and then as you can see it looks like this. 
looks pretty cool. And then what you can do is uh, cp temp then tst into etc issue. And uh, make sure you do this as root cause uh, this is a protected file. And so just run that and do your password and uh, you should be good to go. So yeah, thanks for watching and bye bye.